the hell just happened to my brake? Whoa, my goodness. probably already know what we're gonna be working on you've seen it in the title so you already know what it is this is gonna be the stoppies part two to help y'all get rolling a little bit of stoppies i'm over here with the homie fz07 kevin k monkey behind me we're just out here on a weekday and so before i get into the stoppies I'm gonna just uh, do a little bit of a little bit of riding, a couple of wheelies and whatnot. Couple of wheelies. I've been uh, trying to work on circles. I'm terrible, terrible at circles, but I'm starting to get it a little bit. I just recently started catching idle, you know. So I've been working on it. I'm gonna do a couple, try to catch idle a little bit. Slow it down, slow it down, zip it back, keep it slow, keep it slow, try to catch that idle, uh, that's about all I'm getting for like a circle, <laughs> I really want to learn circles so bad, it is not as easy as it looks when you see people do circles. Super choppy. Slow it down, slow it down. Alright. No, that one wasn't good. I'm being real choppy on the throttle right now. Don't do what I'm doing. I'm not doing good. Nope. Brought it too low past balance point. Slow, let the idle catch. All right, there's idle. All right, start dipping it up. See, work in progress. Work in progress. See, we all start somewhere. All right, let's get into the stoppies. Stoppies. Where do we leave off on the next one? I was telling you to pretty much just like panic break right where you're just kind of coming up slow to a stop and then just kind of pin your brake a little bit right so for this one then let's take it a step further and we'll start trying to actually get the bike off the ground so if you already got your little panic breaking down good you know a quick little all right so now we gotta get it up off the ground so you're just gonna come in a little faster Pull your clutch in, give it a little bit more speed. Pull your clutch in, grab the brake, snatch it. You know what, let me lower my idle because uh, I have it set pretty high right now. And it's gonna just, me going real slow, trying to show you guys stoppies, it's gonna like start getting real hot. Let's get back to it. All right, so you're gonna give it some throttle, clutch in. Snatch the brake. And you're gonna get that back wheel off the ground. The little ones, you're not gonna try to roll it. But you are gonna snatch that brake a little harder than you were doing before. And with the extra amount of speed, it's gonna help that back tire get off the ground. But you, you do gotta apply a decent amount of brake pressure. You know, you're gonna, what you don't wanna do is just slowly drag yourself into it but you're probably naturally gonna wanna do that just because it's kinda like a fear that you know, you'll know you have of like, oh no, if I snatch my brake hard, I might just flip the stoppie. And yeah, if you snatch it too hard, you're gonna flip the stoppie, but we're not gonna be going, you're not gonna be going that fast to really flip the stoppie. 
we're just gonna work on stabbing the brake so you just come with a little bit of speed nothing crazy i'm even going slower than 18 19 because my speedometer is off because of the big sprocket so i'm going a lot slower i'm probably only doing like 10 miles an hour all right and then clutch in just snatch it boom and it's kind of like a little panic break but you gotta like you gotta snatch it give it like a nice little tug pop like a boom you know and you can just let off of it until you get comfortable with that initial pop of it you know once you do that initial pop just roll around and just let your bike coast and start jabbing it and see how your bike reacts with a with a pretty strong jab on it you know it's gonna go boom and you see like it's like throwing me forward a little bit uh, and i mean obviously depending on your brake setup you may have to like squeeze it harder or softer um, I got uh, monoblock calipers on this. They grab pretty good with a 19 millimeter uh, brake master cylinder, so they usually grab pretty good. Um, but also, what's gonna help you, and I know it's gonna seem scary, but it's gonna be to, when you let off that throttle, as soon as you let off, you're gonna grab your brake. So you're like, and then you grab your brake. But as you pull your clutch in, so it's kind of like boom, boom, clutch in, grab the brake. That's basically how you roll a stoppy. You gotta give it throttle, clutch in, boom, grab the brake, and then it's gonna you're gonna stay squeezing it. So you give it like an initial snap, and then you're gonna kind of start releasing it a little bit, you know, until you feel where it's not where it's able to roll because if it's completely locked it's just going to want to flip you so it's like kind of like almost like you're trying to lock it just to get up there and then once you get up there and you start coming up off like your back was coming off the ground then you're going to release a little bit of pressure so that it can actually roll and then you're going to kind of you know then you're going to be squeezing and fluctuating depending on your height that's what's going to control your height and then you want to come back down release the brake your bike will slam back down now if you gradually let off your brake your bike will come down softer than just completely letting off and it, your back wheel slams on the ground but we're gonna roll a couple for you here just so you can kind of see i'm not gonna roll anything crazy i'm not i don't roll like 500 foot stoppies or anything like that i'm i'm not the best at doing stoppies but i do know a little so that's why i'm trying to teach you guys you know so hey hopefully maybe you guys probably surpass me you know if you keep practicing i don't practice these enough which i should practice more but anyway let's go ahead and do oh gas lights are not of course all right so we're gonna give it some throttle clutch in snatch the brake and that's how you do it see i just barely came off the ground on that one i didn't snatch it super hard i just barely came off the ground just a little bit but I was rolling still. That way you get used to the feeling of rolling on your, uh, oh, 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 you're getting a circle. Um, that way you get used to the feel of like it rolling on your front wheel without you being so high up off the ground. It'll still roll, it's just not gonna roll very far because in order to roll long distances, your bike has to be at balance point. And what that is gonna be, you know, where your weight distribution of the bike is perfectly balanced from front to rear and that will keep your momentum going and also the faster you bring it up to that point then the more speed you're going to maintain from that you started from before you grab the brake obviously if you gradually get up there it's gonna it's gonna slow you down a lot oh, let him go oh 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 hell yeah Woo! you're getting it hell yeah i love to see the progress i love to see everybody progress it gets me so excited i love the, just the progression man it makes me really happy when someone learns like a new trick or just their overall skills improve like that's awesome so it's like i hope you guys are progressing too i really hope so as long as you stay consistent and you keep practicing you will progress trust me it just take this stuff takes a lot of time and a lot of effort but all right let's do some more stoppies talking too much right more stoppies snatch it boom and that's it 
Now the reason why being on the throttle right before you snatch the brake helps you come up faster, it's not because you're going faster. I mean, yeah, but there's more, there's more physics behind it. So when you're on your throttle, boom, you're on your throttle, right? So your forks are decompressing, right? Your forks are coming up off the ground when you get on the throttle. And then what happens, you can feel it when you let your throttle off real quick. If you're on it and then you just let it off, boom, what happens? It wants to throw you forward, right? It'll naturally want to throw you forward because your front forks are compressing. And if you're using that same momentum of when you're letting off the throttle to grab the brake, you're letting off the throttle and then grabbing the brake, your bike's kind of already on its way dipping down and then you're grabbing the brake and it's lifting you up the rest of the way. So that's why that helps. And that's what, how you roll an actual stoppy. And you'll see people do it in videos and, and stuff where people who are like really good at rolling stoppies like, you know, like Brian 636, or like Jesse Toller, or, you know, people like that that roll 500s and stuff. You'll hear it when they're coming in hot and just wah, and then they snatch the brake. It's because they're using that momentum to throw them forward when they let off the throttle. All right, let's do another one. Little ones, little ones. I haven't really done that much stoppies lately. I'm pretty rusty. I've been just working on like different wheelie things. Trying to like learn combos and idle and stuff like that. I have a little throttle. Clutch, snatch the brake. and then that's pretty much it that's really all there is to it and then now that you're at that point you're just gonna practice that you're gonna perfect that technique that technique is like that's the technique so it's just now from here on it's just practice and then I don't do any like 180 stoppies or like anything like that yet I still need to learn that so when I do, then I can teach you how to do that too. But right now, I can't really like 180 a stop or anything. I'll, I'll probably like high side. Um, but yeah, so work on that. Keep getting that progress in. You will progress. You have to put the work in. Seat time is the most important thing. I'm telling you, you have to put the seat time in. You can't just be on your bike trying wheelies, you know, once every other week or something and think that you know you're gonna progress it doesn't work that way this is something you have to consistently do all the time multiple days out the week like for hours a day if you really want to progress fast you know you clutch up some more wheelies though for you Woo, what the hell just happened to my brake whoa my goodness it just got so squishy on me. Oh my God, that just scares the hell out of me. So see, it can get scary sometimes. No matter how good someone is, something can still go wrong. I don't know what happened to my handbrake. It got so squishy on me. That was so weird. Oh, also my idle is really low too. Let me turn it up a bit. All right, let's try to catch idle again now clutch up right here Whoa. what just happened what is going on all right let's do that again it's like doing the stoppies like just threw me off all right now we're at idle now we're at idle very light brake just feather the brake feather the brake i'm hitting the brake too hard see i start dipping too low Oof came down hard but yeah see i started like kind of kind of panicking a little bit because i started feeling squiggly and hitting the brake too hard Woo! come on come on getting it though getting it see out here putting that work in you got to put the work in get it all right keep it slow Dipped it too much back Body position matters and throttle. Ugh. 
I will get better, I promise. I promise. I have to put a lot of uh, time and practice in myself. All right, one more and then I'm gonna let y'all go. All right, I'm trying to show you, show you that it's hard, man, and it takes a lot of progress. I mean, a lot of practice to gain the progress. All right, let's get another one. down slow it down and now I'm at idle Ugh. I felt like maybe my idle is too high it kept wanting to keep throwing me back so I'm like break 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 it just kept wanting to tip me back but it sounded really quiet like if it like if it wasn't that high but it just I felt like it just kept wanting to pull me back but anyway with that being said, I'm gonna let you guys go. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you liked it, give me that thumbs up. It really helps the algorithm so that other people can find my videos and I can help them as well. And if you're new and you want more of this advice or you just like my channel, please consider subscribing because it's super motivating for me when I wake up and I see I got like a new subscriber, like that's so dope to me. And I'm having fun doing this for you, so till next time, Ninja Turtle Stunts, get another one for you, and I'm out. Peace. See y'all on the next video. Hit that notification bell so you know when it drops. I don't know if I was yelling too loud at you, but my bike's loud. Peace out, y'all.